G'day guys and welcome to Redriven. Now, with the very latest G80 M3 and M4s landing in showrooms and the M5 CS just around the corner, we thought it only fitting to pay tribute to the cars that built the M brand's notoriety and reputation. So, here are our top five BMW M cars of all time. Now, before we get to fifth place, a massive thank you to everybody that helped us put this list together. The mechanics, the BMW technicians, members of BMW owners groups, people on Reddit, thank you so much. We couldn't have done this without you. And even just coming up with the top five was near impossible because, you know, there are so many brilliant M cars. Which brings us to fifth place, my personal favorite, can't believe it came fifth, the E39 M5. The E39 is often considered to be one of the very best M5s of all time and therefore one of the very best sports sedans of all time. Packing a near 400 horsepower 4.9 litre V8 into a beautifully balanced chassis wrapped in a masculine yet understated body shell, delivering its thrust via a rear wheel drive 6 speed transmission creates one hell of a recipe. The result is a 0 to 100 time of under 5 seconds while looking all suave and sophisticated. Oh, it also, it sounds bloody awesome too. So this next car was actually built in secret behind the backs of many of BMW's bosses. And rumor has it, it was just a group of BMW engineers and technicians that wanted to build the ultimate track car. So they used a bunch of E92 M3 parts. In fourth place, it is the 1 Series M Coupe, or commonly known as the 1M. Once BMW gave this secret project the green light, the plan was to limit production to just 2,700 units, but with rave reviews from motoring journalists and huge demand from fans, 6,309 1Ms were eventually built. So what makes it so special? Well, in a word, simplicity. Stick a three liter twin turbo straight six into a compact coupe body with perfect 50-50 weight distribution. Keep it as strictly a six speed manual, toughen up the looks with some muscular pumped wheel arches and absolutely gorgeous 19 inch alloy wheels. And then price it well under its big brother M3 while offering near identical performance. What's not to love? It's not insanely fast with a zero to 100 time of 4.3 seconds. And they can be a little bit sketchy on the limit. And having an enthusiastic run in the rain can either be completely terrifying or totally exhilarating depending on your skill set. But regardless of that, what a thing. In third, it's the original M car, it's the M1. BMW made fewer than 500 M1s as a homologation special for sports car racing. And the stunning Jajario designed M1 was hand built between 1978 and 1981. And the M1 was the first car to be solely developed by BMW's M division. Its engine outputs may seem a little bit underdone compared to the power figures we're used to these days, but the 3.5 litre straight six still managed to propel the stunning M1 from zero to 100 kilometers an hour in around five and a half seconds. And that was super impressive for the late 1970s. In its heyday, the M1 was an absolute hero car. And these days, it's one of the most incredibly sought after cars in the world. When we tallied up the votes, the gap between first and second was tiny, but by the narrowest of margins in second place, it is the E46 M3 CSL. When the E46 M3 CSL appeared in 2003, it wowed enthusiasts all around the world with its application of racing technologies being applied to a streetcar. To reduce weight, composite materials were used on the roof, bumpers, rear volants, the boot lid, and various body panels. Suspension components were lightened and strengthened. The interior was stripped out, being fitted with gorgeous lightweight racing buckets. It could even be specified without climate control or a stereo. The CSL ended up weighing in at 110 kilos lighter than the stock M3. And then there's the engine. The already phenomenal 3.2 litre straight six was modified and massaged to become one of the all time great naturally aspirated engines. Like the M1 in third place, these days the 265 kilowatt output might not sound all that special, but this engine is about so much more than the numbers, its response, its characteristics, and the sound, especially when deep in the higher rev range, is pure motoring nirvana. It even lapped the Nürburgring in under eight minutes, but it missed out on the top spot for a reason, and that reason is its Achilles heel. 
Why BMW insisted on fitting the CSL with its SMG transmission only is beyond us. Look, it's not the worst gearbox ever made, and if it's driven knowing how to extract the best out of it, it doesn't completely ruin the experience like many will insist. But the CSL not being offered with a six-speed manual is just a crime. Before we get to first place, guys, can you do us a favor and hit those like, subscribe, and bell icon buttons? It really does help us out. It helps us make more of these videos. And we want to know, what makes up your top five BMW M cars of all time? Let us know in the comments section below. Right, first place. Now, this car is considered to be one of the finest driving machines of all time, and it completely lives up to BMW's ultimate driving machine tagline unlike many current BMWs. Taking out the top spot as it did at countless touring car races, it is the E30 M3, and in particular, the Sport Evolution model. Built to allow BMW to compete in the DTM and Group A touring car series in the mid 1980s, BMW took the standard E30 two-door coupe body and tweaked, adjusted, and modified it to be stronger, lighter, and more aerodynamic, while the suspension and brakes were also lightened, revised, and improved. Powering the E30 M3 is one of the most revered four-cylinder engines of all time. It's the S14. Starting off with just 143 kilowatts as a 2.3 litre and eventually reaching a maximum 175 kilowatts as a 2.5 litre in the Sport Evolution, the S14, it may sound a bit underpowered compared to many of today's cars, but when combined with the E30 M3's truly sublime chassis balance and driving dynamics, this car delivers a purity and delicacy no modern BMW can match. And remember, the E30 is the only M3 that was designed and engineered to be a racing car first and a road car second. So this thing isn't just marketing hype, it is the real deal. Thank you so much for watching, and hey, we wanna know what makes up your top five BMW M cars of all time. Let us know in the comment section below. And hey, while you're at it, please press those like, subscribe, and bell icon buttons. And hey, why not go and follow us on all the socials as well? See you next time. But by the narrowest of margins, in second place, there's a f***ing bird. Shut up! Oh, how's my hair? Oh, Christ. So what makes it... Oh, Sean Connery again. It was modified and massaged, massaged to become... Like, words, me no speak good English.